Yeah, okay. Well, one thing I wanted to do was have a look at this uh, Starfield update because I'm one of those idiots who uh, did a couple hundred hours in this game. So let's uh, let's have a look. Um, I don't know what it is yet. I haven't seen it, but um, yeah, let's have a look. Shall we? Together. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm Jess Finster, Community Director be at Bethesda, and I'm here today at Bethesda Game Studios to talk to you all about the next update coming to Starfield. The team has been hard at work, so let's go chat with them to see what they've been working on. So with update four on the horizon, what are some of the new uh, features that players have to look forward to? So we've seen a lot of feedback online that players really want a lot more utility and detail in our surface maps. So we took what's maps something they should have had at release but um better late than never right <laughs> there we blew it all up and instead okay. now we have a whole new aesthetic to the surface maps where you can see the terrain all the detail on the terrain trees rocks actually all the structures looked... in the loaded zone it's a but you know what it makes these uh it makes these areas look pretty empty just a, a lot bit. easier to navigate. We've also made it easier to get around the cities. Um, you can see markers for all the shops. That's all right. Enhanced boutiques, restaurants, you name it. It's all there. It's a lot easier to get around now. With okay. Update 4, we're also adding a bunch of gameplay options. So for that, players can really tune their experience how they prefer. Uh, we're adjusting things like capacity of vendor credits, the actual carry weight. Ooh. That's a lot of potatoes. Additionally, uh, affects to difficulty. So some of those, depending on how you play, you can actually tune to be like space combat more difficult or gun combat less difficult. It's really mm. up to you. And depending on how you balance okay. them, it'll change how you get XP. Yeah. That's awesome. So you're really upping the ante for players that want an even bigger challenge. Yeah, and with that, we actually are adding what's called the extreme difficulty. It sits above very hard, and it really, really makes mm. you pay attention, especially for the higher level characters. How about ship customization? I know players are really capitalizing on all of the ship content in the game. And this was one of the things they did really well. They did ship customization really well. And um, it, it's honestly one of the best things in the game. I mean, the story was mm, the quests, the side quests, the uh, faction quests, they were good. I enjoyed those. Um, but yeah, the shipbuilding was one of the best part. The only funny thing was um, people found a way to build ships that was like, because apparently the, um, the way the targeting happened with the AI is they would shoot for the center mass of the ship. So people will build these gargantuan ships that had nothing in the middle, and then you would just, um, the, the AI would just never hit them. It was hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah, and um, people made some interesting-looking ships too. Yeah, we won't go into that here, but... Yeah. And we've seen some really crazy stuff out there that I'm sure you guys have seen as well. But are you adding anything more to the ship customization? Yeah, so people love to customize their ships. Like, mm -hmm. there are some of the builds out there are just mind-blowing. Some beautiful, beautiful stuff. So now we're turning our attention to the inside of the ships. So we're adding a decorate Ooh. mode where you can go and okay. fully furnish and customize the interior layout of the ships, uh, oh. place the furniture, decorations, basically everything you can do in outpost mode. We can now do that in the ship and it's saved and you can do that to your entire fleet. One of the worst things that happened to me in my playthrough is I decorated my whole house and then I did something in the game. I can't even remember what it was, but it just wiped everything I'd done. So I'd spent like two hours decorating the house. Hopefully that's fixed now. I'm, I'm going to assume it is. In addition to decorate is. mode, yeah. we're also offering a whole new set of empty habs. So basically, instead of pre-cluttered habs in the ship order, we'll have a new set where there's no furniture, there's no decoration, okay. nothing. It's a total it's blank, a blank slate, slate so players can yeah. just kind of fill it up with their own stuff. That's amazing. Okay. They'll really get to emulate whatever their personality showcases outside on the inside. Though. Yeah, mm. exactly. New Game Plus. 
Is there anything being added to this update that helps the players after they've completed the campaign to return to the game? Yeah, so if you're like me and you find your, the more you go through the Unity, the more you become the hunter, the one thing I want to do is be able to respec my traits. So we're adding that. So in case you're getting tired of wanted or mm. want to change your alien DNA and you really want that new dream. Once again, you should have just been able to do that from the beginning, but okay. Home experience, you get to choose that when going through the unity. In addition, you'll be able to no judgment. change your appearance. No judgment. Really living that next second life, huh? Exactly. Awesome. Is there anything else that you guys want to share about this update that players have to look forward to? I mean, you've already shared a lot as it is. We're focusing now on our Xbox Series X players with this update. We're giving them some settings where they can help prioritize. Hmm. Ties between performance or visual. If they choose to prioritize performance, the target FPS will move to 60. And for players that have TVs that support Okay. I'm not going to say anything. For VRR, they'll be able to choose between Oh, wait, VRR. it's a reaction video. I have to. Come on. 60 FPS. Come on. Mm, R40 anyway. or VRR 60. In addition to the, um, the new features we just talked about, what was that TV um, there thing? are a couple of uh, quality of life updates wait that we're introducing. Minute. One of them is you can now toggle dialogue cameras off. So instead of getting that sort of focus zoom in on whatever NPC oh, you're talking the uncanny to, valley. it just stays in normal default camera mode. It's a little more immersive that way. Some players may prefer that. That could help. In yeah. addition to that, we're making the container and barter menus a bit more usable. We've added some tabs along the top, so it's easier to sort of see what container or what inventory you're looking at, whether it's yourself or your ship. Um, and it's just easier to navigate. Okay. Uh, basically, inventory and item management. It's a small thing, but it actually, I think, makes it a lot nicer. So Tim, we just talked to Joe and Eastfawn a little bit about update four and what's coming, but is there anything else that you want to talk about that's down the horizon? So the team is working on our first land vehicle. Did this guy so just come from the, I was going to say, did this guy just come from the golf course? Okay. Uh, okay. Land vehicles. That could be great, but does it, hmm, does it mean you can just travel around the empty areas more? I mean, it would help you get behind, uh, between points of interest better, right? So, hmm. Planets. Could be good. I, I mean, I would go back in for, for that, maybe. I don't know. Space yeah. expansion. Just to That's try all that very out. exciting. What about creations? Anything you can share there? I think we mentioned it earlier this year, but we've sent out our beta toolkit to verified creators. So hopefully more information on that soon. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Tim. Hey, no problem, Jess. That's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us and for your mm. continued feedback. Just a reminder, the update is available on Steam Beta today and will be available on all platforms later this month. So we'll see you in the stars. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna say I expected more, but uh, I'm gonna like, improve surface maps. Inventory navigation tabs. Ship decoration mode for interior. Change traits and appearance after entering. Those, just those things alone probably could have been in the game originally. Or, I don't know, people maybe would have expected that to be in the game originally. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, it's probably not enough for me to go back in and have a look yet. Um, hmm. it might be enough to maybe convince some uh, people on Xbox to jump in, maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm going to give that a middle of the run. That's, uh, yeah, leaves a little bit to uh to be decided but anyway yeah that's our look and um i guess we'll see how it goes if more if more gets added then um maybe dlc or something then that would probably make me jump in but yeah i don't know we'll see how it goes that's it